Every year, I make my own elderflower cordial using wild elderflowers. And it seems I'm not the only one to enjoy this summer drink, as sales have doubled in the last five years. But how do producers make sure they have enough wild elderflowers to meet demand? So I've come to beautiful Lincolnshire to find out how the pros make their elderflower cordial. Pev Manners has been making the stuff for over 30 years. <laughs> nice to meet Pev, right? Last year, Pev shifted a whopping 1.5 million bottles. Here we are. Here's some elderflowers growing in rows. So this is, this is, I mean, this is cultivated, right? This is cultivated. These are planted, yeah. To keep up with demand, he's created one of the few elderflower farms in the country. We planted this field about 15 years ago. Yeah, are they quite easy to, to plant? No, they're not that easy, actually. It took us a long time to work out that you actually have to do quite a lot of TLC. Do you sort of grow them a certain height or keep them we down? We prune them. So these ones are pruned two years ago. Right, and we better get picking. Yeah, come on, not? let's go and pick them. Show you how it's done. And we have to get them in. What you do is pull them down and you just rip the flowers off, one after the other. OK. And you want the flowers, not these little buds? They don't want the buds. Yeah, that's for next week. Beautiful smell. But they're absolutely covered yeah, in this are. pollen. Th this is what makes the flavour, the lovely yellow pollen. For maximum pollen and flavour, the flowers have to be picked while they're in full bloom. But that only lasts for 12 hours, so timing is crucial. So how many people do you employ to pick during the season? Not one. Really? We don't employ any pickers at all. So how does that work? What we did is about 15 years ago, we advertised for people to bring us flowers. Right. And the response was huge. Pev depends upon local pickers to gather his harvest. There are usually around 200 of them. They can turn up whenever they like, pick as much as they like, and get paid by the kilo for their troubles. What happens when they don't turn up, or they can't be bothered, or it's raining? It is a bit chaotic. We have a backstop. <laughs> we have a backstop. If, we're, if we haven't got enough, we um, can buy frozen flowers on the market right. and blend that in. OK. But we haven't needed to the last two years. Last year, we had... 51 tonnes of flowers brought to us. It's 100 transit vans full of flowers. Wow. It's a great business model that helps keep costs down. As well as the cultivated crop in his fields, pickers also bring him elderflowers they forage from roadsides, farmyards and footpaths. This is Chris and Vicky bringing flowers in. Do you know these guys? Yeah, they used to go picking with my mum. Really? You covered in pollen? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah this is it. I'm Either that or you got a jaundice. Yes, <laughs> no you can't tell sometimes. <laughs> it gets very <laughs> yellow. It's weighing in time, which means rush hour, as Pev pays his pickers £2 a kilo. So what are you expecting? 80, What is it? 105. 105? Oh, so that's pretty good. That's a good guess. Elderflowers blossom from late May for up to six weeks, when the pickers can earn up to £150 a day. So how much is my bag worth? What did we get? £3.70. Hey. All righty. Nearly two kilos. Yes. Is that your lowest today? Yes. yes. Right. That's what the children pick, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pev's elderflower cordial is made from a recipe that his mum used to make in her kitchen. Pev's factory is an altogether bigger business. Let's go and put our elderflowers in one of these vats. There's Phyllis. She's putting syrup into one of the vats. Hi, Phyllis. <laughs> what am I going to do with this lot, then? Put it in there. Phyllis is putting the stirrers on. Yeah. We've got sugar syrup and lemon juice in there. Okay. A little tiny bit of citric acid. It does seem like an awful lot of flour compared with the amount of liquid. So yeah. you're not going to top the liquid up at all? I don't know. Phil I don't know what Phyllis has done in this batch, <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. It'll go all the way up to here by the time it's finished with flour. Really? Yeah. Each of these vats contain a ton of elderflowers, and during the season, there are seven of these vats constantly on the go. And how long does it take for the elderflower to sit in here and infuse? We leave it for a secret amount of time, but it's at least... Secret a, amount of time. Secret amount of time. I leave mine at home for 24 hours. I think it's a, we use a little bit longer. OK. Elderflower cordial is a fast-growing business. This year, us Brits are predicted to drink 46 million litres of the stuff, worth over £25 million. So this is the flash pasteuriser. So Pev's cordial is pasteurised, put into barrels and frozen to ensure a year-round supply. Mmm. That's really good. Absolutely delicious. It tastes a lot like mine. <laughs>